What's going on guys? Welcome back to the studio. Yeah, making some changes. I do have a little update. I have my 2022 bear back. This is just a soft tan. Um, beautiful, beautiful bear. That is the bear that I shot on like the second weekend of season last year uh, with Zach. And then that is my wife Janie's bear, that giant old gnarly bear with no teeth. <clears throat> He's up here. Yeah, check that out. No teeth at all on him. That's his skull there. Just a giant, giant bear. Super cool. Here's a little review uh, side by side with a tiny bear I shot a couple years back. Let's see if I can grab him. Lower jaw is not. Look at that. Look at those teeth difference. Little bit different on those two bears right there. Awesome, awesome job. <clears throat> so that's a little studio review there. A uh, little studio update. Those are done um, up by a, a good friend of mine, Eric, out of Mountain Pride Taxidermy on Cedro Whirly or Concrete. Check him out, uh, does awesome work. The skull was cleaned by him, and then the soft tanning was done through him as well on both these bears. Just. Both of those bears are, are done by him and they're so pretty. Janie's is just that dark, dark chocolate with some like Hershey stripe down the back. And then mine, more of a cinnamon with a blonde stripe down the center of his back. Awesome bears. Anyways, back to this is... Got a brand new package from Kuyu uh, the other day. Just showed up. I have not opened yet. Completely sealed. I wanted to do a, an unboxing, something that I haven't done in a long time. And uh, these are really, really getting some hype around the community right now. So let's do it. Unboxing of the... What is it? Always. Sticker included. Thank you. Kill you. And then you get this piece of paper of making a return. Need a different size, different color, hassle-free return, slip, kind of get the information. But what are these? If you can't tell from what I'm holding here, these are the Pro Brush Pant. They just came out on Tuesday of last week, so they're not even a week old yet. Um, I'm excited as heck about these things. I got them in Velo, um, just like my hybrid thermal, the Axis hybrid thermal pant. Got them in Velo. So this is what they look like. And I'll turn them around. And something that I think some of you will like a lot is that they're gonna come with suspenders. So these pants come with the Kuyu suspenders. Loops are installed. They're already ready to go. Just throw them on and rock. So what, what are these pants about? Like why did, I, why did I order these pants so quickly when I heard that they were dropping? Well, first off, they're called a brush pant and I live in Western Washington. So we do do some brush beading. Um, Eastern Washington is where I spend most of my time. A lot of you guys probably know that. Um, but we get into some nasty, nasty pockets, especially bear hunting. Um, um, I might be able to overlay some clips of busting through some brush and getting holes and stuff. You can, you can puncture, like my attack pants have a couple little punctures from thorns or sticker bushes or just down logs. anything like that. And this material is supposed to be just stupidly durable. 
um, you might hear some clinking and clanking, they have a boot clip or a boot lace clip on the bottom of the pant. So they, they stay nice and tight to the bottom of your, uh, they'll stay tight to your shoe, tight to your boot. One thing I did notice is they have an inseam vent. Yeah, that's on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that. They have a vent on the inside of the thigh as well as the traditional Kuyu outside of the thigh vent. These things are super slick. Why Velo? We got a lot of questions um, of why I like Velo over the Verde, which is a lot of greens. Washington has a lot of greens. Just personally, I just prefer this Velo color. It works well for the, the material or uh, not the material. It works well for the conditions and the environment and the foliage that we hunt in. A lot of the burn country looks a lot like this. You got black from the burns, browns, a lot of earth tones. Uh, the greens are a little bit more duller greens, more like a military green than a, vite, a vibrant, like rich green or a chartreuse, which is uh, like the Verde 2.0. Uh, a lot more green. So like spring bear hunting, you might want to pick up some, some Verde. I love the, the look of that stuff in the springtime or summertime scouting. It looks amazing. Um, but as we get into that fall when stuff starts dying and vegetation starts, you know, dying and getting older um, in the seasons, the season progresses, uh, I think Velo is just an amazing, amazing color pattern. So again, these are the Pro Brush brush Pants. I cannot wait to get out and use them. Uh, I'll probably wear them for turkey hunting or shed hunting so I can just get out and, and get a review done for you guys. Um, it's going to go great with... Um, the old guide jacket. Velo guide jacket right over the top. I mean, it's gonna blend into that for turkey hunting for sure. You know, you gotta camo up for turkeys, those little buggers. Um, but it's gonna be great. I, I can't I can't wait to, to get these out and, and use them this season. Um, I got a 34 waist and a short inseam. Traditionally, I wear a 33, 30 short legs, little stubby legs. Um, so I got a I size up a size for Kuyu, and I got a 34 uh, and then a short inseam. So super excited to get these out and start using them. Um, the material doesn't seem super loud. It feels rugged. It's nice and thick. Let's see if we got a fleece line pocket. So no fleece line pocket. Um, so they're not going to be overheating. These might be like a mid-season pant. Um, no fleece on the inside, no liner of any sort on the inside. Just got this dur durable, rugged material. Um, any other features that I noticed just right off the bat? Um, they got that inside vent pocket there. Um, you got a pocket that's just, wow, super, super hidden right here. Right where the, the brown meets the velo right here. Um, you have a nice hidden pocket, nice and flush with the material there. Can't really tell there's a big thigh pocket there. Um, deep thigh pocket. Stretchy. It's it's fairly stretchy, too. I'm, I'm super excited to get these out and use them. Okay, on the back side here, uh, no just traditional flap pocket. They're both zippered um, on both butt cheeks. You got butt cheek right. <laughs> Uh, zippered pocket on the back, zippered pocket, oops, zippered pocket on the left side, and that is it. Just traditional two back pockets, um, and then two on the front. Traditional pocket on the thigh there, and then a, a knee pocket, like a cargo pocket that's nice and hidden. Oh, you got another pocket here. Another pocket, nope, that's the vent. Got me there. That is your vent. So traditional two pockets. One, and then a thigh pocket, and then one and two on the back. But here we go. 2023 Kuyu Pro Brush Pant. Excited. They are, they look awesome. Um, Kuyu's just kicking ass at making, you know, appealing stuff and really wanting you to spend your money. So they got me on these. But there we have it. That is a little rundown open box of the Kuyu Pro brush pant. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, head over to the Peen Wild store. Use coupon code YouTube when you check out. Save a little bit of money on all of your Peen Wild merch. Thanks so much for watching. I'll check you guys in the next one.